Hi, I'm Justin G0KSC uh, of Inner Antennas and the G0KSC website. Okay, today we're on for NEC2 once again, but today I want to concentrate a little bit more on the uh, the settings and uh, positions of the elements um, on the on each of the described um, editing tools. So if we look at the top here and go into settings. Um, we can see that there are a number of selections here on the antenna that we was doing in the last uh, video, uh, which was part three of the 4NEC2 tutorial. So we have the notepad, NEC editor and geometry editor, and then NEC editor new. So each of those I just clicked into them and moved on, and then we concentrated on uh, the Windows um, that gave us just the, the figures. So I'm going to put it onto each one in turn and then open up each one to show you how this looks and how to edit. Now this is the NEC card as it's called with the uh, effectively the, the source code in here. So I just want to go through these lines and just simply show you how easy it is to change and what they each of those do. At the first one, CM, that's just a description and the date um, of the antenna in question. SY equals H, this is one of the, the symbols, the first of the symbols that we added in here. Uh, and H would be put into the what would be the Z plane uh, in order that we can move all of the elements above ground. And you'll recall that we changed H uh, to 10 and also 15 meters above ground in order to move the antenna that five um, meters distance without having to move each individual wire or each individual element in turn. The next SY or symbol is we called RE by um, the number 1.483. Now RE being short for reflector and we use that symbol then in place of the number for the two sizes of the reflector, the negative figure and the positive figure in order that we only have to change the number once rather than two to make it quicker. And the main reason that we're going on to symbols is so that we can uh, we can use the optimizer within 4NEC2 and it, the optimizer must use symbols. It can't just use the numbers, it needs to use a representation of that uh, antenna or element position or length uh, and in, in order to form that task. So the next of these are each the wire ele or element positions and lengths. So I just wanted to, to show you here uh, this simple um, list or, or column is showing where all these GWs are, are these wires. It's simply the number in which the order that they are um, placed or built. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as mentioned in the last one, when we um, move the antenna uh, by dragging the mouse and we can see the elements, the reason that there, although this is a five element Yagi, the reason that there are eight wires is because there are four wires making up the driven loop the front, the back, and then the two sides. So um, number two, uh, this is the segmentation density. We spoke about the segments before. Uh, 13 because the reflector is the largest. Then 11, 11, 12, 12, and 11. Four is because it's these are short sections at the ends of the loops. Uh, and 11 each side of the loop. Then it goes up slightly because this element is now longer than this face edge of the loop. Uh, the same with the next one, the next reflector or the last one is shorter so it goes back down to 11. This column is the element positions. So uh, this is zero, the reflector, that's why that's zero. 314 millimeters to this part. 866 is the front part of the loop. 1381 is direct to 1. 2675 is direct to 2. And 4.4. 354 is the uh, the final director 3. These two here, there's a negative and a positive, are for the um, each of the elements, the, the lengths of each of the elements. And as we mentioned, if we see this green um, line here, this is representative of the center. So we have a positive figure one side and a negative figure. So on this, this driven loop, it's minus 1.244 meters one side and plus 1.244 meters the other side. So this section, the total length of that 
is 2488 as a lamp. With the reflector we just have RE because we're now using this symbol to represent. So we just have minus RE and plus RE. And it's the same for these other elements. The LD instruction that you've got here is simply um, the material type. Uh, and aluminium or T6 aluminium is represented by this number here within the software. And then again this is the, the uh, element numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, this is the ground type uh, here with the GM uh, and then the EX is the type of feed point that we're using and we'll talk about that a little later on in one of the other videos or one of the future videos and FR being the frequency or the center frequency of the antenna. So within Notepad, Notepad is, a, is obviously a Windows application and it's fairly easy we can just highlight over wherever we want to go and change whichever parameters we wish to. The problem with Notepad is that if I change this and I broke that so that now there's not a join to one of these 244 four positions, uh, I wouldn't be notified and I wouldn't otherwise know. So I'm going to change that back to 4, cancel this off, and then we'll go, I won't save any, any changes there, and now I'll change to the NEC editor and we'll open up this one. So this is pretty similar to what we saw with the Notepad. Um, but uh, just the, the layout and the look is a little bit easier and we've got insert, uh, delete tools and also comments. So everything else pretty much the same. We can go in here and then click onto a given wire and then at the top we get our columns in which we can easily edit. So if we was going to change this to <clears throat> 420 instead of 402 we could simply go into that and change as we need. So that's that one. Um, now I'll change to the geometry edit and open this one. Uh, this one is one that caused a little bit of a, <coughs> a few questions last time round. So I'll, I'll drill into this a little bit more. We'll turn the, the aerial. Um, now at the moment it's above ground so it's not as easy to move about as we did. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit into these wires. Now these are, are more sort of drag and drop. Um, I don't use this one myself, um, but it can make it a little bit easier to, to do some editing if you, um, if you wish to do it this way because you can copy place roughly where those elements need to be, uh, drag the tips or the lengths to wherever you want them to be, <coughs> and then edit them in one of the other editors if you wish to. But as an example, if I click onto the wire, it highlights, and then the sizes and positions are here. So we've got the position of each side of that element, this point and also this point, um, and then these are the element lengths. So effectively if I was to change this to 1600, you see that move out there, and then this one to 1600, you'll see this one make out here. So it's gone much larger. Um, and 37, 137 to go back again, um, and that's the uh, the element edited. We could, if we wanted to, drag and create the loops a lot easier or, or um, produce um, quads and things like this uh, easier because of course by clicking and dragging uh, the, the wires and putting them where we want to we can easily join them together in the software and then edit them in uh, the text to get exactly the right sizes that we wanted um, thereafter. So that's um, that's this particular editor. I'm not going to save those changes again. Um, and then the new NEC editor is uh, my preferred which has got the various different tabs uh, which make it fairly easy to edit. If we wanted to go to edit this particular window or uh, let's go to the last director for instance. We can change easily in that column to um, 4.350 from 4.344 or 354 or whichever we wanted to do and make the changes. I'll put it back again um, and then save as appropriate. And if we're making any changes or adding symbols we can do that in here. So. I'll add another one this time where we've got our uh, driven element. They, these are all 
1244 you can see there's a lot of changes every time you was adjusting the width of the driven element you're having to make uh, what's that eight changes one two three four five six seven eight eight changes so if I add a DE um, 1.244 um, and I'll make a note of driven element in here and now uh, each of these in turn I just change DE I need to make sure that I keep that minus sign in place if it's there so that the software knows whether it's before or after that center green line the Y axis so each one of these now um, being changed uh, so we're almost there and then we'll have all of those in place so all of those in our D I'll press save and if we have a look at our antenna in this window you can see the width of the loop so if I were to now change this drastically from 1.244 meters to 1.5 and press change uh, once you've pressed uh, the run um, and do a, a, a far field we would see that the loop has drastically increased in size see that and also that's completely messed the pattern <laughs> so um, that wouldn't be a, a good move at all so that's pretty much uh, it on the editor today I said that we're just over the 10 minute marks I've got to keep these videos between 10 and 15 minutes uh, to save me having to chop them up so hopefully that's of use I'm going to just put this back to 2.44 before I save this uh, and then we'll uh, move a little bit more on to uh, moving the elements into symbols and do some optimization on the next one thanks very much again and uh, please subscribe